CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor has been digging into the story. Here's what he found out. Aerial Banners, Inc. They're located here at the airport. You can see some of the planes behind me. We came to North Perry Airport looking for answers regarding the plane that was involved in this afternoon's crash. When we call Aerial Banners, they told us that the plane was one of theirs. They can give you some more information up there. We came to North Perry Airport to find out more about the single engine Piper PA25-235 that crashed in Hollywood Wednesday afternoon. We were told we could not go forward and we were given a phone number to call someone from the aviation department. We were told over the phone the plane belonged to Aerial Banners Inc., a company that's seen something like this before. And it's just a horrific, horrible day for us. That is Bob Benio speaking to CBS News Miami following another crash in March of 2019. That year, one of his banner planes hit an 18th story condominium building in Fort Lauderdale, and then it fell several floors onto the outdoor pool neck. The pilot also died in the crash. The company's website says Aerial Banner has more than 50 planes at locations around the country, including Miami and Fort Lauderdale. A search of our archives found there are at least two other banner planes accidents before. In March 2015, a pilot survived a plane crash in Broward County. The aircraft was also owned by Aerial Banners, Inc. Crashed in some marsh waters about three miles west of U.S. Highway 27. The year before that, a banner plane crashed into a lake in northeast Miami-Dade County near Interstate 95. The pilot was returning to North Perry Airport when the plane lost engine control. He survived. We call Aerial Banners again to get more answers for some of the questions that we have. For instance, the experience of the pilot, if he was a student or not. But they said that they're not making any more comments. The National Safety Board and the FAA say that they will investigate. In Pembroke Pines, Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.